So I want to find the number of isomers. Let's just start off with the constitutional and see how painful it is. So we want the degree of unsaturation, which is going to be the number of hydrogens missing. How many hydrogens are missing? Four missing from a fully saturated molecule. Divided by, always divide by the number two. To, uh, and then you'll get two in this case. Two. So two degrees of unsaturation, that's a little painful. That could mean a lot of things. That could mean you have a triple bond. Triple alkynes are two degrees of unsaturation. Or it could be a combination of one degrees of unsaturation. Uh, so you can have a double bond and, uh, oh, and another double bond, one and one. You can have a double bond and a ring. Or you can have two rings. I think I picked the really hard. Okay, so let's just try it and see what kind of comes out. We'll start with the uh, just the straight chains. So we'll start with five. One, there's five. Well, then where do I want to put that triple bond? Well, put it here. Put it here. Can't think of another place. Put it on the, the second part would actually be the same as the first one. You want to put it here? Yeah, it would actually be the same as the first one. If you put it here, that would be the same as this one. Uh, that one? Uh-huh. Okay. So let me just draw it out. These two are identical. Okay. How? Just. Oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah, pancake. <laughs> okay. I can also do two double bonds. So let's work on that. Put them here. Put them here. I'm just thinking of every possible combination. I could put it there. Uh, and put it there. This is not necessarily the right uh, three dimensional structure. I'm just, for ease, I'm making them zigzag. Uh, but these actually be linear. Okay, I can't think of another one. So I think that's all it for the double bonds, for five. Now we'll go down to four. So four is that, and then you add one methyl. So a triple bond can only go here because I'd have too many bonds if I put it anywhere else. Uh, how about two double bonds? Put one there and one here. That, that could work. I could put... One here and one here. That's all I can think of. Okay, unless there's another suggestion. Oh, you probably can't see anything I'm drawing. That's unfortunate. Okay. Four. Uh, and if I go down to three, I think it's not possible. Three with two. I can't put any double or triple bonds on this and not without giving carbon more than four bonds. So, because if I put like a triple bond here, there's too many bonds on carbon. So, not possible. I think that's all the chains at this point. Let's go to rings. A uh, five-membered ring with one double bond. So I'm doing this set now, here. That's it for the five. We can go down to four. Four. Uh, with one methyl, I put a double bond here, or here, or here. Is that cool? Just move it around in some places. Now I'll go down to the three. So three, just as far as the structures, could look like, could have uh, like that, it could look like that, it could look like So now I'm going to put, start putting double bonds in there. Uh, oh my god. It's, it could go there. It could go there. And it could go there for that first one. For the second one, where the double bond go? Tons of places. It go here. OK, I picked a really hard one. <coughs> so.
there. I mean, if you could do something like this, the test, the final will be pansy. Uh, yeah? For the square one, could the double bond go on the bottom? Right here? Yeah. It'd be the same as this one. Oh, okay. Does it like, matter orientation between the double? Put it there, you just pancake it, and it'll be the same thing. Okay. So if you can spin it around and it looks the same, you shouldn't draw it. Okay, where else was I? Um, I'm doing this bottom one now. I think that's is that the only place that's the only place I can put a double bond on that one. Okay, so so far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Not that, 20, okay. I thought it was going to be on any. Oh, and two rings. Okay, two rings. So, two rings with five carbons. That could look like... That has five carbons. Right? Don't seem too excited about it. Okay. Um, is there any anything else that can be two rings? Oh, you could do this with an extra methyl group. A little kite on the last one. I can't think of anything else. Okay. So this would be something I probably wouldn't ask you to do the cis trans ones because it would be a little crazy. There would be a number of possible cis trans here. Or at least a couple. Okay? Okay. Let's hop there. Any questions on this one? Yeah? Is uh, The triangle one, if there's five carbons, yeah. It would have all these permutations. An ethyl, it'd have two on the same, it'd have two on the different one. Yeah, it'd have those three possibilities, if it started with five carbons. 